I want to be with you along the way. Nothing else will do. Welcome back to Every Day. I've got my 3x5 cards, I've got my Bible, got my pen, and open up to wherever you're reading the Bible. I just happen to be in James 1.26. It says, If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. So I said yesterday, the first thing you're going to do when you find that scripture that kind of stops you and you're like, okay, what does that mean? Holy Spirit, I want to understand what that means. Write it down, because I think one of the first things that helps me to begin memorizing Scripture and breaking Scripture down is to write it down. So I write it down on a 3 by 5 card. That way I can carry it with me throughout my day. Um, I'll stick it in my pocket where my keys are, so that way every time I reach in that pocket, I remember, oh, I need to look at that Scripture again. Then the second thing I do is I will write down the definition of words within that verse that maybe I might know what that means, but I need to refresh my memory. Because sometimes we think we know what a word means, but there may be meanings that help us understand what the Bible is telling us. For example, the word religious. That one for a lot of people can be kind of confusing. It is our practice. It doesn't necessarily mean we're talking about whether you're a Christian or whether you're of the Jewish faith or whether you're a Muslim. Whatever place that you're at right now, that's not what this verse is talking about. You could be a religious runner. There are a lot of people that run so religiously every day and if they want to keep their running routine fresh and alive and exciting, they're going to have to do some things to make sure that they always want to go and do it. Because if you really don't love running, you're not going to want to do it every day. If you don't really love God's Word, no matter where you come from, no matter what your background is, no matter what you uh, grew up believing. If you don't make God's Word your practice, and if you don't love reading God's Word, it's not going to be very exciting for you. And part of this is building up your spirit to desire more of God's Word, to understand God's Word in a deeper way so you can draw closer to Him. So I want to go through and I want to define some of those words. The word bridle comes up in this one. To harness, to hold back this wild... Think about a, a horse that's just strong and powerful and out of control. You need a bridle to hold that powerful thing back. And your heart is this powerful thing that sometimes gets out of control. And we need to bridle our heart, make sure that our heart isn't just racing out of control, but is following God's plan. So when you go through, it's really helpful. Write down the verse first, then go through and write down definitions of words that maybe you're not familiar with, or maybe you need to remind yourself what it means. Come back tomorrow, and we're going to continue learning how to build our spirit up.